Whoop. You didn't see that. I'll cut that part out. Okay, today we're putting these, these, uh, I don't know, spacers, body mounts, whatever you want to call them, we're putting those in. They're all painted and ready to go. I just have to find one more bolt and I'll have it made. All right, we got those bolted down in there. And now we're going to, uh, let's see, what are we gonna do? I think we better start thinking about a battery box, whether it's gonna be on the running board or if it's gonna be underneath this area here before I get too carried away. All right, we'll see what we can do. not going to work. This is going to require some thought. I'll be back when I have a solution. Well, didn't accomplish a whole lot today. Um, uh, put that down there. I did get this sawn off. trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this battery. I'm kind of thinking it's going to end up somewhere right in here. I guess that won't be too bad. Usually I can work these things through and I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done, but this is kind of a bugger. I just, I'm just having a hard time getting things the way I want them. And I want to leave some area back here because I do want a tire carrier back here, rim and tire. So, you know, gonna have to think about this. Probably better do some yard work today while I think. 
All right, that's enough. Bye bye. Well, good morning. It's a nice day, a little cool, but uh, we'll take it. About 60 something. I think today what we're gonna do is let's see the pedestal for the seats we need to make some brackets to bolt it down yesterday I got this cut I like the way that looks uh, yeah and my battery situation I have come up with a secret plan uh, I'll let you know about it later uh, because if it works out I'll let you know about it if it doesn't work out you'll never see it so I'm kinda putting the battery deal off for a while but uh, I think I know what I'm gonna do so let's let's make some brackets and get that bolted down boy pretty exciting yeah all right Okay, what I'm doing, I've got these brackets made, but, you know, and these carriage bolts will go down in there. What I've got to do is, I've got to make this whole square so the carriage bolt, you know, gets retained by it. What I've come up with, and if it doesn't work, you'll never see this section, as usual. So I've got an old tap that I kind of 
ground down to a little bit more pointy on the part that goes in the tap handle. And my idea is to heat the heat this up and drive that down in there and make me a square hole. Now whether that works or not, that's that's another question. So let's see what happens. my brackets front back of the pedestal that was a lot more work than I had planned on but things kind of changed in the middle of it due to a rethink so yeah oops now I got to drill the holes in this if I can get those drilled and get it set on the body I think I'll wait till tomorrow to finish it up. All right. see that. I'll cut that part out. for little reward but I've got them on there and uh, I think they're gonna stay so that's it tomorrow I'll drill these holes here get it bolted down and I think No, I'm not doing that. Never mind. Forget I even said anything. All right. See you the next time. Bye. All right. What I want to do here is I've cut these strips. 
they're going to go on to cover this raw edge all the way around here. So that's what I'm doing now. That'll make that look better. Kind of hide the fact that it's plywood, not real wood, I guess. Good enough. And it will encourage new growth from the base. And that new growth will be better flowering for you. Um, these plants sound like they're old enough and large enough that you probably will only need to implement some of the younger um, branches telling you that it's probably getting enough height. Some of the growth is so uh, much older um, that it's, it, it's no longer flowering. Now. And that's pretty common for a lot of They flower better on and uh, when will I need to fertilize that tree? Here? I do. I do. So, um, you probably will never fertilize the tree if you're fertilizing it. All right, uh, here's a question for Don, or from Don in Davenport for you, Aaron. We are looking to possibly plant some facetti bamboo as a privacy screen between our property and our neighbors. I've read that it does well in zone 5 without becoming too overgrown, but I'm also worried that it is invasive. I understand that... Well, we are definitely at the very northern edge for this plant, so it's not going to be as aggressive as it might be in warmer parts of the country, but bamboo is notoriously an aggressive spreader. Many of them are. Um, I would make sure that I plant the like when you'll see it pop up in a place that you don't want it to deal with it right away. This is one where um, most of these types of bamboos are spread by um, underground runners. They will go um, a couple of inches deep. So trees? Absolutely. So we can kill things just as quickly by overwatering as we do by underneath heavy clay soil. You might not be watering, but maybe once a month are newly planted trees, whereas in a sandy soil, you might need to water every week. So, yeah, check first. So, and uh, check the, the football a little bit, and you can also check this around. Hello, Jura. Um, oh, I think he's doing something else right now. So, uh, let's go to Steve, south of Des Moines. Hi, Steve. Hello, Okay, we've got this on here. Now this, the holes need filled with some uh, wood putty. Then I'll come along and I'll sand the top and the outside and the bottom, you know, make sure they're all good and flush. But we've got that around there. So that looks better. It's a small accomplishment, but you know, has to be done. So, I'd still like to put like some brass edging around here. Maybe, maybe steel. I don't know. You know, kind of keep it from getting kicked up, nicked up, all that. Still got to make a decorative piece there. Lots to do. Always, always. The more I get done, the more there is to do. That's just the nature of the beast. All right, we're moving along. Well, it's a nice day. Finally getting leaves on the trees. I think uh, summer might be on the way. So, today, we're gonna take this off and sand all these edges and whatnot and we're going to paint the bottom of it so that can dry and uh, I don't know what else just that and the other thing
right once again I got carried away and didn't want to stop to film anything you can see I took off the handbrake mechanism I've got it over here drying I got all the proper bolts put in it and holes drilled bigger for the bigger hardware spruced up the frame there a little bit where I'd scratched it all to hell and uh, painted the clutch handbrake lever and over here we've got one coat on the bottom of the uh, deck or whatever it's supposed to be called so tomorrow I'll get this all buttoned back up I hope and uh, I just I didn't want that deck on there and having to reach under it and uh, you know it just be in the way so I've got two more brackets to make that are gonna come off of this there and there there and they're gonna bolt to the deck so yeah we'll get those on there but I gotta have the deck on to figure out the size of the brackets anyway I know that's that's all fascinating um, anyways got other stuff to do today so we're gonna wrap it up and uh, call it a day See you later.